Yo, what up, what up? It's your man, Big Brandon Carter. A lot of times when people see me, they think, hey, that guy's successful. He's got two million plus fans on social media, uh, a thriving fitness empire and supplement company, big office in Manhattan, ton of employees and customers all around the world. But it wasn't always like that. In fact, things used to be quite different. Before I started this fitness empire, I actually used to be a drug dealer. Kind of ashamed to admit that. Growing up, I always wanted to be a personal trainer. You know, I love fitness. I got certified when I was 18, and I was training people, tons of people. But being a personal trainer, you don't make a ton of money, or at least not the amount of money I wanted to make. See, I had big goals. I wanted to make a lot of money. And being from the south side of Chicago, I only knew one way to do that. And at the time, that was selling drugs. So what I used to do was I would go down to Miami. This was a long time ago, first of all. Way past the Statue of Limitations. No need for anybody to go looking into this. But I used to go down to Miami and buy cocaine at wholesale, uh, bring it to New York, most of the time on the bus, Greyhound bus or something like that. Once I got it here in New York, not only could I sell it for more money, but I could also add shit to it and step on it and stretch it out so I, I actually had more product because the standard of quality for cocaine in New York is not as high as the standard in Miami. And that was a lucrative little business I had going, man. I was making a ton of money, living the lifestyle that like rappers talk about, like I was actually doing it, you know? Uh, fast money, parties, girls. So even though I was living this exciting, lucrative lifestyle, inside I didn't feel right. I felt ashamed. I felt like a failure because I wasn't helping anyone. In fact, deep inside, I knew that I was tearing people's lives apart. But all that wasn't enough for me to change what I was doing because money was too good. The money was too appealing. But three things happened that actually forced me to make a change. First thing was one of my friends that I grew up with uh, SV, he got sent away to prison. He's doing life in prison right now for murder. And he was involved in similar line of work and I, and I kind of understood that these were the kind of things that accompanied that lifestyle. Shortly after that, another good friend of mine who was doing a similar thing that I was doing, uh, Esco. Esco was found in his car full of bullets. He was murdered and you know, they found him in his car in Jersey. And that was really difficult for, for me to deal with. But what really took it to the next level was shortly after that, my father committed suicide. Um, he shot himself in the head. My dad wasn't as a bad guy, but he was involved in some things he probably shouldn't have been involved in. And I started to realize that the people who were involved in the kind of things that I were involved in, they're all getting killed or sent to jail. And I didn't want to go down that route. And that's when I decided that I wanted to create a business that actually helped people instead of hurting people. But I wanted to do it in a way that it was lucrative. Because again, that was part of my motivation as well. I wanted to make money. I didn't want to struggle like I was before. And I knew from experience that a great way to help people is with fitness. But see, the problem with that was I knew that being a personal trainer wouldn't make me the kind of money I wanted. So I had to figure out a way to do what I love, which was help people accomplish their fitness goals and, and train people, but still make a ton of money. So I had no idea how to do what I was passionate about, what I really loved, and make the kind of money I wanted to make until I read a book by Tim Ferriss called The Four Hour Work Week. Now, this book is a little dated now, but at the time it was revolutionary. In the book, Tim explained how to leverage the power of the internet in order to create uh, a lot of money doing something that you enjoy. So that book changed my perspective and kind of showed me that to make the kind of money I wanted to make, I had to stop exchanging time for money and that way I could do what I was passionate about, making a lot of money doing it. However, that book did not give me the blueprint. It didn't tell me exactly how to do it. Right? So I had to learn that on my own. And it was a lot of trial and error, you know. But I started trying to figure it out. All right, so I started my fitness business online. I wasn't making any money at first. In fact, it was so bad, I had to get two jobs. One was the job working for my buddy's moving company. Really tough work, 
14 hour days, moving stuff up and down, six story walk ups in Manhattan, sofa beds, heavy boxes, 14 hour days, almost full body workouts. And that was five days a week. In addition to that, I also got a job on the weekends as a manager of one of my other friend's restaurants. So I was working these two jobs as well as building my fitness business. I was working like 80 hours a week just to survive. And I was spending every minute I had of free time working on my fitness business, studying, trying to learn more, reading a bunch of more books. I took a speed reading course, got my reading speed up to about 600 words per minute. And I started reading everything I could find on business. Honestly, it was years of struggle made a lot of mistakes, did a lot of things wrong, but I started doing some things right. And after a few years of hard work, things started to change. Now, this didn't happen overnight. It was a lot of struggle. But eventually I got to the point where I could quit the moving job. And I still kept the job at the restaurant part-time. But I kept going, kept working, kept grinding. And then eventually I was able to quit the job at the restaurant. And now I was working on my fitness business full time. So after years of hard work and struggles, I mean, there was a few times we actually <laughs> wanted to quit. We almost stopped becoming friends at, at various points. Uh, but now we finally got to a point where we feel like we're successful. And it's still growing, right? Now we have uh, tons of employees. We have a big penthouse office in the middle of Manhattan. Our supplements are sold all over the world, customers all over the world. And most importantly, we get tons and tons, countless testimonials from people telling us that our products, our supplements, our workout programs, our diet programs have helped them accomplish their goals. It feels so great to actually to make a living helping people, right? Because now, you know, it feels so much better when you're giving instead of, instead of taking. You know what I'm saying? It's literally a dream come true to actually be able to help people accomplish their goals and to make money, right? Because helping people accomplish their goals is something I've always wanted to do and I was doing it, making almost no money because I loved it. But the fact that we can get rich doing it at the same time is literally a dream come true. Not saying all that stuff to brag. I actually hope that it inspires you, right? If you've made some mistakes in your past or, or if you're working a job or doing something that you don't really want to do, it's not your calling. I hope this inspires you to go out and really try to do some big things, accomplish some big goals, to do something you're passionate about. Like life is so much better when you can make money by doing something that you love. It doesn't feel so much like work, it doesn't feel like a struggle. You actually enjoy it, and if you can make it lucrative at the same time, and you can figure out a way to do that. I know because I'm living proof. So, if this helped you in any way, if this inspired you, if this gave you some encouragement, then please do me a favor, hit the like button, leave a comment saying if this inspired you. Please share this with your friends or your family or, or anyone you think may need some encouragement. And I hope this helped, you know, because at the end of the day, that's what we're here to do. We really want to help people accomplish their goals. I hope this helped you, all right? Peace.